If you're looking to spend big bucks on a sporty, pretty, luxurious coupe, your mind is probably going towards European brands, things like Porsche, Jaguar, Mercedes, and BMW. But there's a newcomer from Lexus entering the fray that you should consider. It's called the LC500, and it's safe to say that it's the most exciting Lexus we've seen in a very long time. Stunning looks, a lovely interior, and lots of V8 power are all really promising ingredients. So let's see what it's like to live with. How does it look? I'm still sort of amazed this is a real car and not just a concept. It's stunning from every angle, with beautiful curves, yet plenty of aggression. The long, low hood creates a classic sports car look in profile, and the super skinny LED headlights and taillights look incredible at night, while the massively flared rear fenders give this car a serious sense of purpose. Almost all of the body panels are made from aluminum, and the roof on this car is made from carbon fiber reinforced plastics. And of course, I always love a car with a pop-up rear spoiler. How's the storage? All things considered for a car like this, I don't think the LC's trunk is that bad. But at 5.4 cubic feet of space, you're not going to move apartments with it. There's a pretty small opening, it's pretty shallow inside, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to fit our away luggage back there. The cup holder situation inside isn't great, and the door pockets are on the small side. Fortunately, there's this center console compartment, which houses two USB ports and can conceal smaller items. Is it roomy? For the driver and passenger, everything is great. There's a lot of adjustability from these snug yet comfy bolstered seats, plentiful headroom, and scooped out door panels to provide extra elbow room. The back seats, well, they're a token effort. Like a lot of coupes in this segment with a 2 plus 2 layout, there isn't really enough legroom for adults to sit back here, and headroom is extremely tight. Maybe you can bring the kids along, but that's about it. How does the interior feel? The inside of this LC500 is a really lovely place to spend time, in part because I've got such nice materials all around me. This is real magnesium for the shift panels, I've got these lovely satin brushed accents for a lot of the controls, Alcantara, red leather, everywhere. It's really lovely. I especially like details like these exposed door handles and the full color instrument cluster with the little dial that slides across when you pull up more information. Is it well equipped? As befits a luxurious car in this class, yes. Standard features on the LC500 include things like navigation, power seats, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, LED lighting everywhere, and so on. Options include different wheels in 20 or 21 inch sizes, a performance package that includes a carbon fiber roof panel, limited slip differential, rear wheel steering, and that pop-up spoiler. Plus there are niceties like an upgraded sound system, a heated steering wheel, and a color head-up display. In other words, yes, it's very well equipped. How's the infotainment system? I've never warmed up to the touchpad operated infotainment system in new Lexus models. Even with haptic feedback that you can feel, it's distracting to use while driving, although I am at least glad that there are physical tuning and volume knobs. Navigating through the menu options is tricky, even when you're stopped. Still, the functions themselves work well, with clear graphics on the 10.3 inch display for the navigation, music, phone, and other functions. It's also worth noting that there's no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto support. On the plus side, this car's optional Mark Levinson 13-speaker surround sound system plays music crisply and very loudly. Is it a good daily driver? The LC500 obviously has a big focus on performance, but there's still a Lexus badge in front, so I expect a certain level of civility in everyday driving. And remarkably, this car does a great job in that respect. Dial it down to comfort mode like this, and the ride quality is incredibly compliant. The exhaust shuts up, and the car is actually very, very quiet inside the cabin. It's easy to drive, too, because the steering gets a little bit lighter and the throttle response is dialed back. So yes, considering how much performance there is on tap, it's really very, very civilized as a daily driver. Is it fun to drive? Let's dial it up into Sport S Plus and find out. It's 
sounds fantastic. The engine is a 5-litre V8, naturally aspirated, so there's no turbocharging like in some of its competitors. The result is 471 horsepower, 398 pound-feet of torque. And Lexus says that you can do 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds and go on to a top speed of 168 miles per hour really impressive figures and it just sounds killer as well. Because though this is a naturally aspirated engine, you do need to really keep the revs up for best performance. Peak horsepower doesn't arrive till 7100 RPM and the red line is at 7300. So you have a really narrow window to play with. Now I don't mind that because that's a lot of fun. I guess though I was hoping that since this automatic transmission has 10 speeds, it might be a little shorter and a little more closely spaced, so it was easier to really keep the revs up where you want them in street driving. Sometimes they just feel a little bit tall when I'm driving around like this to really keep the revs up as high as I'd like. Well, that sounds awesome when you downshift. In every other respect, the LC500 is just fantastic to drive. It starts with the steering, which is really quick and direct, yet still sends quite a lot of information back through the wheel to me. The car changes direction instantly, and especially with the adaptive suspension set to its most aggressive setting, there's very little roll or pitch or floatiness, no matter what you're doing. I also think that the brakes are fantastic. Up front, we've got 13-inch rotors grabbed by six piston calipers, so the performance and the feel is just incredible. All told, this car feels like a genuine sports car. There's so much performance. And I think I'm going to go and drive it a little bit more and enjoy it. How's the fuel economy? Lexus estimates EPA ratings of 16 miles per gallon in the city, 26 miles per gallon highway, and 19 mpg combined. I've been averaging about 19 mpg, so I'd say that's about right. If you really need to save fuel, Lexus also sells the LC500H hybrid. How much is it? The LC500 starts at $92,000, and this example here is just over $105,000. That price range is reasonable, I think, when you look at how much you can spend on a similarly powerful BMW 6 Series, Mercedes S-Class Coupe, and Porsche 911 Carrera. What are the negatives? Okay, I really like the LC, so the only negatives I have are just little nitpicks. I still don't really like that fiddly infotainment system. I wish the gear ratios were a little shorter and closer together in the transmission, and I wish the trunk were a little bit bigger. But none of those things would stop me from buying this car if I were in the market for it. Who should buy it? The Lexus LC500 is great in so many ways. It looks so incredible on the outside that people have been coming up to us on the street all week to ask about it. It's a really thrilling sports car, but it can also chill out and settle down when you put it in comfort mode and just want a luxury coupe. I think it's a great alternative to some of those established European coupes I was talking about before. So if you're shopping in the near six-figure coupe segment, you absolutely have to check out the LC. If you liked watching this Why Buy as much as I like driving the LC, you should be sure to hit the like button and scroll down to leave a comment if you've got any more questions about the car. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get a new Why Buy video every week, as well as lots of other great video content. And you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, at motorone.com.